How heavy was the UPS? Oh, well, it was heavy. <laughs> 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 going to client site we're moving them from one office to the other today so we've got to move PCs desktops more so move some of their network or their core networking equipment across to another location it's in the same building on the same level thankfully so it's pretty straightforward hopefully we'll knock it over today shouldn't be there too late so yeah should be all good Do you or Josh want to come down and grab this trolley and uh, tools? Um, yeah, I'll send Josh now. Where are you? Uh, well, I'll be about five minutes. Okay. All right, see ya. See ya. Oh, yeah, just doing an office move today, you know, it's all part of the Wintech oh, charm. <laughs> See you shortly. This one. The problem I've got is the, a, the APC or the one above. Oh, where's that gun, Josh? Sorry? This, up here. Is that gun into the wall? So that's good. So the network here should keep running. Go with text there if you want it. Oh, yeah. I've gone from here. We need hoodies. We need take hoodies. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I need these because mine doesn't fit. Um, here. Maybe I'm gonna slim down. Yeah. Okay, so where are we gonna leave? Are we just leaving our routers where they are? This one. Yeah. Yeah. Because we could just patch that, couldn't we? Yeah, patch that to one. Yeah. yeah. All these power. And where's the other one? That one. Oh uh, no, that's copper. Oh, I can't do that. One. That's a split. No, no, but that's okay. But where's that go? That goes into a router. Nothing. Sorry, we're just filming. We actually do stuff. <laughs> 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 what do you do? Why are you filming? <laughs> awesome. This is part of you. This is us, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a net, a net Geo documentary. You'll see it on Netflix. All about Tom. Up on Nat just, Geo. Yeah, just Net Geo. Just following him around. In the wilderness of IT, we're calling it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, what do we need? You know where it's going then. We'll yeah, work it so, out. So then, uh, you know but that it. shouldn't be plugged into the network. There would have been a router in between, I guess, but guess not. Yeah, that's how's the failover work? Does it? Yeah. That's a good point. Samurai has uncovered a few things this morning. That's alright, well we'll get it. All we need is the primary one. We can bring the other one over after. What do you want me and Josh to do? I just need some... Um... Well, I'll help you with that. Yeah. Josh, if you want to start moving PCs. Yep, sure. Just, yeah. Talk, and then talk to Zoe and... Talk yeah, to yeah. Zoe and Kelsey, and we'll move, get the switch up and going. Yeah, so Clean this out for those guys. Yeah, we'll get the UPS. So, so strip all the patch of pleats. No, no, we'll get the UPS out, plugged in, get a switch up, yep. patch our router in. Test it all. And then we'll clean the rest up. Okay, all right. Is there no idea ready to go with you? Okay, cool. All right. All right, let's get the UPS over there. Heavy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, who bought this? They were ingenious. Guess that was someone very smart, Tom. Must have been me then. Yeah, down a bit. Yeah. So, so Josh, you want to help Tom with that? Yeah, of course. Let me show my guns. How heavy is it? Like, real heavy. Can you get to it that way? Definitely a two-person What's that workers' comp? Hey, what are you doing with it? I haven't got workers' comp. <laughs> <laughs> Just put it on the trolley. Yeah. Can I still got power? <laughs> <laughs> Why turn off? 
Dango, Dango's full of jokes today. We're going to make it work fun. There we go. We're going to make it fun. How heavy was the UPS? Oh, well, it was heavy. <laughs> We're aiming to have the network up soon so we can get a phone and a PC running for you guys to do whatever you need to do. So that's just been the focus to strip that, then we'll tidy it all up and move the rest. Okay. Mate, excellent. Alright, cool. Yes. This UPS is going to move itself. Hello? Oh, what do you fellas... I forgot to put the motor on the EPS you... to get it across there. You fellas are standing around looking good. Alright, you want to pop them in there? We may need longer um, network cables because the, yes. the yes. switches are in the middle yes. and they're yes. not directly under the desk. All good, we'll just go to Heyman's. And, and go we also mm. I don't have any power boards. Oh, we'll need to work that out. We might have to go get some power boards while we're go to Heyman's and get a whole pile of stuff anyway. Yeah, sure. I feel like I should have a little uh, siren with this one. Maybe a little, a little golf cart. This is an important move. I can get fired if I can. Why can't I get this in? Yeah, I'll get out. Look. Oh. It is the... Well, you might want some slow-mo footage. Yeah. Slow well, you're already slow, so... Slow no. Ooh, that ain't gonna fit through there. That's gonna be fun. So, UPS right down the bottom. So we're gonna get these rails in. Yeah. You need me to do that or you don't know? What happened to the cage? At the bottom of that rail, there'd be cage nuts. Oh no, these go yeah, straight, straight into Straight into the thing. What time is it? I've got an 11 o'clock. Just gonna hang out and do a phone conference quickly. Potential new client, we're doing a, um, just gotta to talk to their WAN provider. Oh, sorry, this is Tom, can you hear me? Yep, just in now. Essentially, we're creating a new Azure tenant. Um, and the initial concept was simply a site-to-site -site Azure VPN. That, that's essentially all we were going to do, but then Michael mentioned you might have had some, well, we could have gone express route, obviously there's a cost associated with that. Okay, so I was just going to ask, so this is purely private, so we're eff essentially extending the network, so it's all private access. The majority of traffic on a daily basis will literally be web traffic, so the division's basically a web service. So we'll have private published web services, for the internal users, and then those that aren't on the WAN will come in on the external, which is just internet access, which will have public IPs in Azure anyway. So the, the question I had then, you, you mentioned this MS Connect product. How does it connect into Microsoft? Do we just VP, is it the IP, the VPN gateway on our end will connect to your MS Connect service, is that right? Oh, okay, so it's still the VPN gateway in Azure, yeah. Yeah, 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 cool. Yeah, yeah, that's fine, yeah. Obviously it'll be lower latency, as, as the guys have said, if we went the MS Connect route. Um, it's just going to come down to obviously timing of your next gen firewall and costings for that service, I guess. From my perspective with the Azure deployment, um, it doesn't, if we went MS Connect route, it doesn't really change what we've, what we've scoped. There's no real change from our side. But we were basing it on that we've got a 50 meg internet connection um, to use it off. We're using the VPN1 gateway service, so at the Azure end it's not an issue. Um, we don't know. The, the short answer is we don't know how much yet. Yeah which would be more than, than we'd ever need, so yeah. Oh, that's what we're after. Okay. Yep, that. Now, do we want to think about the layout of this rack? Well, let's just get the UPS in first. Okay, how about you get the UPS in first? <laughs> and then we just got to... Oh, we got to think? Yeah. Then we've got to work out your phone system, how we patch that across. Yep. So we got to get the power up to there. Captive socket. Oh, look at that, my flies, Dick. Fits? No, it doesn't. Look at the gap. Surely, um, Bruce can fix that when he... Nah, that's alright. That ain't gonna fit. That's okay. 